to another episode with Sunshine Triplers. My name is Ria. My name is Reese. Have you ever wondered how plants get water to their leaves and flowers? Today, we will be doing the color changing flower experiment to explain the same. Can we start now? Of course. Things needed to do this experiment are White flowers, clear glasses, and water. And food coloring. We are going to color this water, put the flowers in the water, and let's see what happens. Can you pass me the color? Look and read, it's blue. Thank you. Because this is gel food coloring, we need to take it with the toothpick. Getting colored. This is very beautiful. Ooh. This is cool. I've never seen real blue water. Yeah. Now I'll color this one green. Taking another toothpick so I don't mix the colors. My red water is ready. I'm getting blue all over my hands. Blue water is ready. Now we are going to put the flowers in the water. The colors are ready. We have a blue water, a green water, clear water, and red water. Now I'm taking a flower and putting it in each cup. Because there's extra flowers, I'm putting it in this clear cup water so we know the original color. See, here we have a clock. Let's wait for a few hours and see what happens. Though we said we should wait for a few hours, we had to wait for two days. Do you want to see what happens after two days? The flowers are not white anymore. came back after a few hours and only the edge was colored. The next day, it was just a little bit colored, but not that much. But the next day, this is what it looked like. This experiment explains how water is absorbed to the leaves and the flower. Plants need water to survive. They pick up water from their roots through their capillaries. The capillaries are hollow and they act a lot like straw. Adding color to the water helps us visualize, which is usually invisible, process. We hope you liked today's episode. If you would like to see more STEM experiments like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. Until then, see you next time. Bye! Bye.